Okay, this is the Singer 503A, and in my opinion, one of the coolest and the most stylish machines that Singer ever made. Uh, it came out in the 1950s, uh, specifically 1959, and was in the marketplace then competing against a number of the Italian machines put out by Necky. And uh, Singer decided we're going to change the body style from the traditional 401s, the 403s, and the 404s. And with this 503, we're going to give it just kind of a cruise line, uh, really a luxury body style. I think it's just a gorgeous machine. And if you were to take this to a quilting class or a sewing class, uh, needless to say, you would have a crowd of people around you because you just don't see these machines, especially in this good of condition. Uh, this one has just really been uh, handled with uh, delicate hands, very little use on it, and uh, just a gorgeous head turner. Let's go ahead and start on the bottom right hand side of this 503A. And the first thing I'm going to show you, and it's very similar to the uh, 404 that we just sold, it's going to have that uh, throat plate uh, adjustment for freehand embroidery. Instead of lowering the feed dogs, you actually raise the throat plate. And uh, as I slide this from right to left, camera, if you can go over and, and get a close shot of the needle area, and you can see what happens. That throat plate rises up. Right now, uh, we're basically free of the pull of those feed dogs. Uh, this one also has a fine tuner on it, so you can really make some subtle adjustments like this, so that if you're wanting to have just a little bit of pull, but you don't want them fully engaged. And then again, just like on the 404, you can move it all the way over and you can easily remove this so that you can clean the lint out and just make sure that there's any, uh, any of the debris that gets caught under there uh, is kept clear uh, of the needle in the bobbin case. And then with a simple flip of your thumb, you can lock it back in place again. Okay, follow me to the right side of the machine, just up a little bit. This is obviously the control area for stitch length. And uh, you can really get quite a wide range on stitch length with this, anywhere from six stitches per inch all the way down to 30. Uh, also, you've got this wonderful lock feature so that once you set that stitch length, you can lock it in place and you don't need to be concerned about uh, uh, unexpected project outcomes. Now, like I said, you do have a range of six to 30 stitches per inch, you see that our top marker right here is 20, but when you move it into that fine area, that's how you can achieve even a finer stitch length and get to that 30 stitches per inch. Also, if you move it all the way up, you're able to easily sew in reverse as well. Okay, let's move up just a little bit to the machine here towards the center area. This is obviously going to be your stitch width control. Now, if you're simply doing straight stitching, you're going to leave it on the STR setting. Uh, but if you're incorporating any of the cams that this machine is able to support, you'll adjust your stitch width accordingly, uh, depending on what uh, outcome you want as far as the look of that uh, decorative or utility stitch. Also, you've got a real easy adjustment here for needle position. You simply push it in and then move it up and over to go left or push it in and move it down and to the left to move that needle to the right position. It couldn't be any simpler to operate. I, I really love uh, how, how user-friendly this machine is. And also, Singer decided to add some quick reference tips to it as well. As you come up to the top of the machine, notice the uh, inner cover area has the fashion disc numbers uh, as a reminder, and then it actually has an image of them as well, so you can do a quick reference uh, two of the fashion discs that we're going to be including with this, and they are readily available, uh, is the blind stitch, blind hem stitch, and then also the multi-stitch, which can be used for stretch stitching or for a zigzag type stitch as well. And again, this machine is going to have uh, several different uh, decorative output possibilities, as I'll show you in the manual when we get to that point. But uh, if you follow me just slightly to the left now, You'll see that a nice feature on this one is that it also has collapsible spool pins. And you'll see we have two spool pins so you know right away this machine is capable of doing uh, dual needle sewing. And also with some ad adaptation can even do three needle sewing as well. Uh, but when this spool uh, th of thread is not here, you can easily fold this lid down and uh, 
just keep the machine that way for storage purposes if you want. Winding a bobbin is very simple. You can see the way the thread is uh, coming through this thread guide right now. You would simply take the thread around this tension uh, feed area here for the thread guide, come around here to the front area just in front of where the cam gets inserted, and then simply attach your bobbin right here. And it's got a wonderful feature where once that bobbin fills, this is going to automatically disengage. So you don't need to be concerned about, am I going to overfill it or underfill it? It will automatically disengage once that bobbin gets to the proper uh, fill rate. Okay, let's go back over to the left. And I know I got us jumping around quite a bit, but this is just really an amazing machine. There's a lot of cool features and improvements on it that I'd like, to, like you to be aware of. But also threading this machine is very simple. Coming off of this spool, you can see like I showed you before, we've got this single thread. You're going to come through this little junction right here, down around the tension control area, all the way up to the arm, and then all the way down to the presser foot area. Look at the clearance underneath that presser foot. And if that isn't enough, if you're doing some heavy duty quilting or heavy duty sewing, there's also a very modest hyperextension that you can employ uh, as well. Uh, and we may be demonstrating that during some of the uh, uh, heavy-duty sew-offs later on. But that's a great feature to have so that you don't find yourself uh, in a situation where your machine is capable of sewing thicker, but you can't fit it under the presser foot. Also notice these uh, quilting and uh, seam guide markers as well, which are very helpful when you're trying to get those edges just right. We've also got a convenient uh, drop-in bobbin. So if you're looking to change out uh, colors, or if that bobbin is simply getting low, you can easily pop one in and within a matter of seconds be back to your project again to resume your sewing. Now this machine, uh, as I said, has a lot of creative possibilities. And this is an example of one of the uh, appliques that we did on this machine. Uh, you can see immediately that the foot control on this machine is as good as it gets making some of these turns, making some of these con concentric uh, circles and half turns. Uh, you're not able to do that on a lot of machines, but on this one you can. And you can see here we're real close to that 30 stitches per inch. And as we move out towards the frame and the borders, uh, we get pretty close to that 6 to 7 stitches per inch. But the final result is just a beautiful example of the creative possibilities that can be generated with this 503A. And you are as capable of doing this as we are. Uh, this machine, when you've got a high quality machine like this 503, uh, it's amazing, even if you are more of a novice sewer, what you can do. And as an added resource, we're also going to be including uh, an original owner's manual. We always include manuals, uh, whether it's a reprint or an original, for two purposes. One is, we want you to be able to maximize the machine. We want you to not be intimidated by it. If there's any basic questions or more detailed questions, this manual is going to cover it. And uh, the manual also serves the purpose of helping you to maintain this 503A at the optimal level that you're receiving in. Now, when you get it, don't worry about that. We spend on average six to eight hours on every single machine. I think we actually got closer to 10 hours on this one because of the decorative aspect of it and we wanted to make sure that uh, tensions and everything like that were just perfect on it. But once that routine maintenance does come due, this manual will guide you through the very simple steps of keeping it at, at that optimal level. And I'm just going to show you real quick in the manual, uh, these are just a quick glance at some of the stitch outputs that this machine is capable of. Again, we're not going to be including all of these cams, but these cams are readily available. Uh, with, a, with this listing, you'll be receiving the multi-stitch and also the blind stitch cam. So you can elect, if you want to, to get the arrowhead, the banner, the crescent, the icicle, the ribbon stitch, the ball stitch, uh, and even as you go deeper into the manual, there's additional fashion discs beyond that that can give you even more capabilities. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? You can imagine if you're doing the edge of a quilt or an applique or other decorative type sewing. Uh, this machine is just amazing in what it can generate as far as an output. Here's some more samples right here of some additional 
uh, fashion discs or cams that you can get to go with this machine as well. So you can see, uh, if you're strictly looking for a machine that will do uh, basic sewing, heavy duty sewing, this has a 0.75 amp motor so it'll get the job done for you. But if you're looking for more of the uh, decorative sewing, you know, or at least to have that capacity, this machine is just amazing in what it can generate. If this isn't enough to get you excited about bidding on this 503A, again, in my opinion, one of the most versatile and one of the most fashionable type machines as far as its body design that I've ever seen Singer put out. We're going to be adding an extra incentive just as a fun bonus. Uh, this is a gold uh, necklace with uh, two accents of cubic zirconia right there. Just a pretty necklace and just a fun bonus that we're going to be throwing in uh, just as an added incentive to bid on this great machine. So I wish you the best in bidding. Uh, make sure you check out our other videos where you'll see the heavy duty side of what this 503A can do.